These are instructions for completing the Vineland 3 Adaptive Behavior Scales. So first things first, let's open it on up. You're going to want to complete the information at the top of the page. The most important information for me is the date that you complete the survey. It's important for my scoring information, so please don't leave that out. So we're going to want to answer the questions here, but let me tell you what your response options are. So we're looking to see if the child can perform the listed behaviors on his or her own without needing help or reminders. So two means they can usually or most of the time perform the behavior by themselves without help or reminders. One is they can sometimes do it by themselves without help or reminders. Sometimes you might need to help them out. Zero is they can never perform the behavior without help or reminders. So if you always need to remind them, if you always need, need to support the behavior, then that would score as a zero. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to start at the first highlighted item, and you'll notice that it's not item number one. So here's what we'll do. We'll answer the first question. I'm going to answer this one as a two. I'm thinking very thoughtfully about the child that I'm responding about. Answer the next few questions. And within those first five items, if I answer a question as a one or a zero, I'm going to want to reverse until I get five scores of two. So here's what that looks like. I'm going to go back and reverse one item at a time. And there I've got my five scores of two, which means I can continue on with the rest of the survey. If I don't get those five scores of two right away, I'm just going to keep reversing one item at a time until I do. If I never get five scores of two in a row, I'm just going to go all the way back to the beginning. So now that I've got my five scores of two, I can keep going. Now, if I've never seen the child perform the behavior before, I can check a box that says I estimated my response. Um, so you're just taking your best guess from what you know about the child. And here you'll see I just got five scores of zero in a row. That means I can stop this section. This is called a ceiling, and I can move on to the next section. If I never get those five scores of zero in a row, I'm just going to keep answering until the very end of the section before I move on. So I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to skip this section and show you what to do when the very first item is highlighted. So if you start at the first item, you don't need to worry about those five scores of two at the beginning. I can answer the very first item as a one, and that's okay, I can just keep going. You still do need to obtain either five scores of zero or get to the end of the section to complete that section. So don't worry about the five scores of two at the beginning, get five scores of zero and stop and then move on or get to the very end of the section. So you'll notice that some of these scales will be crossed out. That means that I don't need you to complete that section. They're not relevant for, that, uh, for this evaluation. Now, if the last three scales are highlighted, the rules are a little bit different. You don't need to worry about the five scores of two or five scores of zero. Um, you just want to answer all of these questions for the last three scales. If you have any questions about completing the Vineland 3 Adaptive Behavior Scales, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me uh, from the contact information that I've sent home on other paperwork. We look forward to working with you and your child, and thank you so much for completing this survey.